Hello automation and your love arts. Welcome back to KT sessions. In previous session, we saw how can we use a uh, browser open and uh, close action. And uh, in today's session, we are going to use the recorder package and uh, we will see how can we capture the value of an element and uh, how can we write the value in a element. So for this, we are going to use this uh, website, which is RPA challenge. And uh, we will try to read this text from this website. And uh, we'll try to input some value in these fields. Basically, we are going to see how can we input some data into uh, this text box fields. And uh, how can we get the output or how can we read the text from these labels uh, on a web page. All right. So I will go back to the control room and uh, first of all, we need to open the browser with that uh, specific URL. So we will uh, copy the URL of this website. So first of all, we will copy the URL and we will paste the URL here. And uh, I'm going to use the Chrome browser. Uh, disable this bra close tab, we will use it later. Now, after launching this website or this web page, we want to read this value okay so for that we are going to use recorder uh, package and here we have this action capture now we need to tell them in which window we want to capture the element okay so we need to give the name of that window or uh, we can give the tab uh, browser tab so as this tab is open uh, in our uh, browser, so when we refresh this uh, drop down, it will get the list of all uh, available tabs or the windows. All right. So now I will go to this drop down and uh, here I can see this RPA challenge tab and you can see the title of the window is RPA challenge. So I have selected this window. And you can see the URL of the web page and the browser is Google Chrome. So now we have captured the window as of now, but now we want to capture the element or the object from this web page. Okay, for that, uh, I will click on capture object. So it will automatically navigate to this uh, window. So now, first of all, I want to read the data from this uh, website or this from this web page. So for example, if I want to read this, I will uh, take the mouse over it. And uh, similarly, I can take mouse on any of the label which I want to read. So let's read this paragraph. This is a long paragraph. So I will take the mouse on it. And when I will click on it, it will capture the element. So when we go back to this, uh, when we go back to our control room, now we can see it has uh, captured one element and if you want to recapture it, you can click on this recapture. So first of all, we will preview what it has captured. So it's a good best practice to preview your uh, objects or the elements. Sometimes it capture uh, our different elements. So to make sure it has captured the correct element, we should uh, preview this. So it has captured the correct element. We can see this is uh, this paragraph is getting highlight. So let me close this preview. And uh, here you can see the object properties like HTML tag, DOMX path and all those uh, properties we can see. And action to take on object. So this is the object which we captured. Now what action we want to take? We want to get the text of this uh, element of this object. Okay. So first of all, we need to see in which uh, property uh, that text is available. So we will uh, expand these uh, properties. And here we can see inner HTML contains the text. See, it contains all the text. Okay, so let me uncheck this first. So first of all, we have uh, got that uh, element which can we, we have got that uh, property which uh, have uh, this text and uh, now we will select the properties so html tag is div 
let it be and domex path uh, it also contain div and all those things so i will uncheck this html tag i will check only domex path and uh, i will uncheck this also path let it be and frame so i have selected two properties now action to take on a object so now we want to get the text from this value and uh, that text is available in the property which is inner html so i will select get property from this drop down and now i need to tell which property so that property was inner html okay so i want to get a property which is inner html because that inner html contains the text okay so when i scroll down i will now save the outcome to a variable sample string and uh, let me print this uh, sample string at the end all right so let me run the board and i'm closing this tab uh, which is uh, already opened and uh, here we go it has uh, opened this window and in the message box we can see this text so we go this text we have successfully read this text from the website similarly you can uh, get the value of any of the field from uh, this web page or from any other web page let me close this so we have successfully read the value so now let's see how can we input some value to this uh, website or web page i will again go to this uh, recorder package and here we can select this capture and also if you don't want to select this capture you can directly use this option start recording i will drag drop one capture action and here again i need to select the browser or the variable so when we go to this second uh, line we can see it has already created a variable browser3 variable i will use this variable instead of uh, capturing it again so i will paste the variable okay so this browser3 refers to this uh, website rpa challenge website and the url is this one now i want to capture one more object or element so i will click on capture object and uh, it has redirected us to this website again now let's say i want to input some value in the email box it is selecting the group of uh, objects but i need to select only one uh, object which is this text box so now it is getting highlight i will click on it and uh, it will capture and uh, here we can see the properties of this element and we can preview this also see the correct element is uh, getting highlight so let me close this and uh, now action to take on object so now this time we want to set the text of this element or the object so we can set the text we can append the text we can click uh, we can debugger click so there are a lot of options which we can uh, perform but as but uh, now we are going to set the text i will select this and here we can enter keystrokes here or we can use the on screen keyboard so here we can enter whatever data we want to input or whatever text we want to set uh, so i will give here my gmail address again i will uh, uncheck some properties which are not required and let me close this existing window we can close this window with the help of this close action as well now let me run the bot the second line is uh, still enabled means it will uh, get the prop get the value of the uh, paragraph also and then it will set the value of email uh, and here we go it has input the value in this text field but when we relaunch this website so these 
the position of these uh, objects has changed now here we can see address instead of email but uh, we have captured this text box so it has uh, input the value in the text box so this is how we can uh, input some values in the text box of a web page and see if i want to input value in this one in this one in in all these fields so there are total uh, seven fields so for that no need to take seven recorder actions and then capture it one by one instead of this you can uh, click on this start recording and open that window okay now you can capture all the elements so for example i want to enter some text in this uh, role in company developer and first name and uh, this one uh, address just you need to click on it so that uh, our uh, automation anywhere will capture these elements so you can see it here as soon as i clicked uh, in on some element or some object this count will get increased as of now it, uh, the count is kept count of captured action is 5 so if i double click on it it will become 6 see and if i double click again it will become 7 similarly if i want to click on this submit button i will uh, double click on it count is getting increased so if as soon as i will i am done with the capturing of element so i will click on finish it has added seven line of code and uh, you can see double we have double click on this element uh, when we switch the windows so we can delete uh, this because we don't need this uh, second one is again it's the same see uh, it has captured this uh, element the role in company in which we have set the text so if you need this you can uh, keep it otherwise you can delete this similarly we have the next one that uh, last name we have set the text in that so you can uh, perform any action either you can set the text you can click on the element and whatever you can do so that uh, it can capture it so on this email uh, object we have a double click so it has captured double click on this one similarly for the next uh, actions it has captured the double click uh, event so now let's say we want to click on uh, some button so uh, i have captured this i will uh, go to the properties and uh, here i can take the action so i will select the left click and uh, in object properties i will uncheck some properties so web elements this xpath uh, is one of the consistent property which we can uh, use so i am uh, closing the existing window because uh, if there if uh, we run the bot it will open one more win one more window and uh, then there will be two active windows with same title same element so bot will get confused means on which window it should work so that's why i'm closing the existing window so that uh, it can avoid duplicacy of windows so this is one of the best practice so whenever you open any window you should uh, you must close the existing window if there is any oh, exist if any exist so here we go it will uh, open the website and it will click on the submit button it has clicked on the submit button successfully so this is how we can uh, give input we can give input as text or we can uh, click on any button or we can get the data or we can read the text from any label so thank you guys for watching this video till end and do let me know if you have any doubt in this or uh, if you have any other doubt uh, in, in automation anywhere.
थैंक यू